tuning in to the online broadcast network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin. Hi, everyone. I'm Ashley Daniels here for another spotlight on today. I am with a beautiful, fabulous, stylish girl. Uh, no pun intended. She is Jenny Rodriguez, who is the E! News style assistant. Um, you've worked at the post show this year for the Oscars with our own Maria Menounos, mm -hmm. which is awesome. I'm dressing her must be like dressing like oh my god, a amazing statue. Oh, my gosh. Um, Liz Hernandez, who I love. You've helped style her yes, before. Yes. Welcome. Thank Thank you so Thank much for having me. I'm excited so to be here. I'm so happy you're here, too. I love you. <laughs> Funny enough, um, we met recently. Yes, um, we did. At a shoot. shoot. <laughs> yeah. Jinx. And I love her. Like, you have the best personality. Oh like, we gosh. hit it off, like, right off the bat. We were talking for, like, 20 minutes, and they're like, oh, it's time to go. <laughs> Honey, ditto. Oh, my God. I loved you the minute I met you. You are so awesome. Thank you're you. just real. You know, I, when I Thank meet a real you so person, much. I may talk your ear off, but it's like, finally, hi, hey, let's talk. Can I ask you questions? Blah, blah, blah. I get Those so excited. Are, it's, uh, it's hard to find like real people in LA, right? And uh, I'm from uh -huh. here. So it's I, hard to find real yeah. people on Earth. So yeah. I mean, I don't care where we are, but yeah, especially LA. It's true. It's true. <laughs> but we yeah, so we met on set of a shoot and mm -hmm. I just found you so interesting. So I was Thank like, you. I wanna just know more about you, but let's just make it a spotlight on. So Aww, it's like you're killing so two sweet. birds with one stone, you know. <laughs> Could rewatch our conversation later. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Um, so, okay, obviously you're doing so much right now, you're so young, but I want to just go backwards a little bit okay. and find out, first of all, where are you from? Are you initially from California? Uh, yes. Yeah. I was uh, raised in Lancaster, California, okay. which is like 45 minutes away from LA, and then as soon as I turned 18, I left and I went to college, I went to CSUN, and I was going to pursue fashion originally, okay. but then I was like, no, I'm going to try something different, because I mean, I've always loved fashion, but I was like intrigued by like communications and like radio so I got my degree in radio and communications yeah surprisingly so then um you fit right in here yeah <laughs> I'm like so I worked at a radio station out here at power 106 for oh seven years and I was their fashion blogger there so like everyone always knew that I love fashion like all the girls there would always come up to me and be like hey girl like what do you think I should wear so I, it was just like fun and then like Liz, that's where I met Liz Hernandez because at the time she was doing radio there okay so then her and I became really close and then if she had an event or like a carpet she would ask me if I could help her but I was just doing it for fun oh. and then um, my other good friend that works there too he DJs so he would ask me like hey can you help me find an outfit so everyone always knew that I had like that was like my niche but I was still trying to like figure out what I wanted to do 100% so finally, uh, like last year, I got the opportunity to, you know, like I got the call that E was looking for a wardrobe assistant. Right. So I applied and I got the job. Yeah. That is so interesting that yeah. like all along in your life, or at least at the time mm -hmm. you were doing radio, right under your nose, like the hobby that you were doing ended up being your path in life. Yeah. And I mean, it's, it's crazy, but people always say like, your passion will get like will open doors for you like you know you got to try other things like me I was just trying to get everything out of my system because right. I didn't know I was so young I was there like when I started at power I was 19 mm -hmm. and I'm 27 now right so it during those seven years I kind of figured out what I needed to do and what I love to do right. you know and it makes a difference when you like live and breathe your passion every single day oh my gosh of course yeah you can be good at a lot of things yeah but you don't necessarily need need to do all of those things. I mean, I, you could end up picking a million things you could do in your life. It's really yeah. what like you get excited for mm -hmm. every day. And I always say to myself, what's the thing that you would do in life if you were never paid a dime for? Yeah. And that's how you know what you want to yeah. do. Yeah. I know? mean, when you're no excited, what. exactly. Like, I mean, I love working there. It was so much fun. I learned so much. But 
but it's it makes a big difference when you wake up and you're like oh my god like I, you're excited I mean I was excited there but now it's just like this is what my, I'm passionate about like every day I work with like amazing stylists you know and just to see like how they you know like pick out clothes or how they work especially around award season oh my god that was so fascinating to me just seeing like everything that goes into like you know, getting a great outfit for like such an, a big like a big award show. Tell me a little bit about that process because oh. I know that I'm interested in. Knowing. Yeah. I mean, we see these beautiful, um, you know, the finished products right. on right. the carpet. Right. What goes into something like that? Oh my God. Well, it's it's a little stressful because you know, as a stylist, your job is to make the talent look impeccable, like amazing. Because paparazzi is going to be there. They're going to be the center of attention on the red carpet. Of course. So you have to make sure that they look flawless. Right. So just, you know, you, you start prepping like three weeks before and then you start like going to different showrooms. Well, I would see like my coworkers who are like the stylists that would go to different showrooms and like all the like stress that went into it and just to find the right dress. Yes. But when they, fi they find that the right dress and they see it on their talent, it's just like the most rewarding feeling. And then when you see it on the red carpet, it's even more amazing. I can't imagine. Yeah. Even you're like, I told oh someone to wear like earrings and they were yeah. like, I told them to wear them. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you're it's, Barbie. Yeah, exactly. And it's like it's like you're like oh, when you see it on the red carpet and they love what they're wearing and people like compliment them. You're like, okay, I did a good job, you oh know. And gosh. it's the most rewarding feeling. Like I can even like I can imagine like my like the three girls that I work for. They were so happy with like their final like turnout on their talent, and it's just like amazing. And it inspires me, you know, to like keep pushing. And then one day I'll be able to like do the same, you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. I remember watching Rachel Zoe Project mm -hmm. back in the day, and yep. she would re, you know, she'd watch her uh, her, her clients on yeah. the carpet, and you could, and I just thought, wow, imagine watching the dress. You, it's just interesting. It's yeah. putting the whole package together, and then seeing them ooze with confidence. You feel yeah. kind of a little bit responsible for that. Well, yeah, as a stylist, that's your job. You want to make sure your talent feels 100% confident because it's going to project on camera, mm -hmm. or it's going to project when they're at an event. They're going to feel good, you know, right. and like. That saying it's like when you look good you feel good totally. you know so I feel like that's why I, I've always been so fascinated with clothes because it gives you that little boost sometimes you know like even if you're sad sometimes you're like oh well I look cute today so you know I'm gonna have a good day no, totally. you know of course, so that's of course. like as a stylist that's what your job is you know absolutely what goes into the different like for you right now are styling hosts yeah so what's the difference with hosts and actors because I know with actors and actresses um, only one person at a time can wear Dior, correct? And one yes. person can wear Armani. Mm -hmm. Does that mm -hmm. go for hosts as well? Sometimes it does. Okay. Well, I mean, at least in our in in our building, we always try to make sure that they're not going to wear the same dress okay. because they're going to be covering the red carpet, and it's going to be weird if the two hosts are wearing well, could that the happen? same dress. I mean, it's, I'm sure it's happened before. Thank God it hasn't happened to us. I mean, other outlets, like obviously, with you <laughs> yeah. guys would know who's wearing well, what. Well, yeah, but. because well, with other outlets, you know. The, the showrooms are responsible to tell the stylist, like, hey, so-and-so already got that dress, or so-and-so is already wearing this brand, right, you know? So right. they make sure. And then at showrooms, they're so limited, too, on, like, the certain styles. Yep. So they make sure that there's not, like, two of something. So another host from another company or another another network is not wearing the same thing. Right. Because it makes us look bad. It makes us look like we're not doing our job. That would be horrifying. I mean, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I yeah. can't even imagine. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to just go with it and make a joke out yeah, of it like, and really oh, go with your day. Um, I didn't know. We meant this. We yeah. meant to do this. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So who are your style icons? Do you have anybody in particular that you... Um, I really like Victoria Beckham's style. Like, oh, my God. I love how simple it is, but it's so chic, you know? Yes. And it's so... I love that it's contemporary, and it's like, whatever season, she always looks so good. It's true. And I feel like simplicity always wins, you know? Oh, Less totally. is always more. Absolutely. You don't have to, like, go all out all the time, you know? Yes. And that's why I like her style so much because it's so clean. It is clean. It, it, also, it, it's attainable for anyone. Yes. We can mimic that. Oh, yeah. When you don't have a lot of money and you, and you don't have a lot to work with, 
that's the type of style that you can mimic versus something that, I mean, not to say, but like with the Kardashians, a lot of the things that they wear, you couldn't even find that, like uh, uh, something that's a duplicate of that because no. it's just so beautiful it's, and like couture. Yeah, and so. yeah, and a lot of the stuff that they wear is very expensive. Right. But you know, like with Victoria Beckham, I just like that it's like classic pieces. It's like your gray, your white, your beige, your off white, you know, colors, and then you can either easily go to like Zara or like H&M and sometimes even Forever 21 believe it or not and like find similar pieces you know and just yes. I think it's always about just finding that like you know your essentials and just playing with them and then just figuring out like your outfit. Right, and you can also pair something that's inexpensive with something expensive yeah. and make it look better. Mm -hmm. um, what are your go-to stores now for, because now you also, aside from the red carpets, you're assisting with styling for E! News every yeah. day. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, every day, the, the outfits, I know for a fact that when I'm driving by Intermix, I'll right. see in the window the outfit right. that was just worn on E! News. There's a lot right. of the things that Maria is in. Um, they're, they're just, they're very current. Yes. So, are you shopping and looking well, for things and pulling all day? We, well, sometimes, yeah. We we usually okay. pull three times a week. Okay. Just so that the host can have, like, a variety mm -hmm. of clothes. You know, you never want them to get bored. Right. Or you you never want to get bored. You want to be inspired. So you want to have options. So some some of the stores we go to is uh, Intermix, mm -hmm. Ted Baker, uh, Barney's, Bloomingdale's. Oh, that stinks. All Nordstrom's. All the crappy stores. <laughs> Right? No big deal. I mean, it's it's fun. No, of course. It's of so course. fun. But, I mean, we do have budget, so we try to, like, stay. Yes. But we also yes. pull from showrooms. Right. So sometimes, like, some of the stuff you see them in, it's not actually from a store. It's from a showroom. So they wear it, and then we have to return it. Okay. Yeah. So they don't always get to keep all the cool clothes. No, I know. But you know what? I, I'm the type that if I wore something once or twice, I'm fine anyway. Yeah. I'm probably going to do that anyway. Right? With something especially it's, that's kind of a little more, you know, you can't get away with wearing it more than a couple times because it's a little bit out there. Or yeah. Or something so expensive, like a $500 dress. You're like, when am I going to wear a $500 dress again? Exactly. You know? So exactly. So that's, like, the good thing about, like, showrooms, you know? Right. You can pull like really cool, like different pieces that you know you won't find at a store, right. but you find at a showroom. So you know we like to have variety. How much of the person's body figure goes into deciding what they're going to wear? Like, can you have no idea who you're styling and then go and buy, go and pull outfits, or would you like to know, like, let's accentuate her butt or her? Her breasts, right. or whatever it is. <laughs> she has a great neck, whatever. Well, no, we have to definitely, like, okay. see what we're working with, you know? We can't just pull, because what if the stuff we, we're pulling for mm -hmm. doesn't work out for that person? Right, like, you know their size, but, mm -hmm. like, maybe you, like, like, I don't know, in terms of, like, knowing your own body is one thing, but knowing someone else's body and what to accentuate, um, it must be interesting. It is interesting, because you have to, like, really, like, look at the person's body and be like, okay, okay, now I see... Okay, now I know what to get that person. Like, oh, if she has, a, you know, like mm -hmm. a booty, right? Right. You gotta find something that'll make her booty look good, or she has boobs. Mm -hmm. But it's also like what this, the the talent prefers. Like, I have big boobs, but I don't like to show them. So right. you have to make sure you get stuff that doesn't like show them, because then they're gonna be so uncomfortable. They're gonna be <laughs> you, like, you show up with like a little bingo, yeah. and you're like, honey, you, everybody's gonna try something once. All right, go. I mean, you Camera's know, rolling. yeah. As a stylist too, you have to like kind of push people a little bit out right. of their comfort zone. Right. Just a little bit. Just a very small yeah. bit. Yeah. So they, you know, they still feel confident, and, right. but they're trying something new. Right. You're you not know? scaring them to death. Yeah. You're course, not scaring them. They're not like, oh my God, I'm, I'm never going to use her again. Styling. I'd be like, honey, look what I got you today. I'm like, we're going to get you very comfortable in, in no time. Right. And you just, have to, you just have to be happy in what I'm giving you, okay? Exactly. Oh my gosh. I'm sure you're just, but you're just, that's why you're killing it right now is because you know Thank exactly you. what you're doing and you're taking so much time. And, you know, I think that when you're in this mode, you're kind of like in the middle of like almost being at the very top. You're like very, very close at yeah. being, I just know you're going to blow up. Oh, thank you. But in these little moments left, I feel like you have to be extra cautious of everything you do because those are the moments that people are now watching more and more. Mm -hmm. You have to, as as an assistant, I've learned, you're going to mess up a lot. Mm -hmm. Like one of my coworkers, well, two of them are so amazing because they've taught me so much. They've like literally taken me under their wing and like 
give me advice all the time and just like mentor me That's and awesome. like really teach me the ropes, you know, because I was green when I started. But I think what's helped me is my passion because like I'm so passionate about like clothes and like fashion and styling. Like I've always loved that. Right. But what's um, what I'm learning is just that you have to be really like like careful and just pay attention to detail. It's all detail and just like see how things like look on TV because sometimes like things that we think look cool might not look the same on TV. So it's just, you know, finding that and like getting the eye for TV. So you watch before you guys go on, mm -hmm. you're going to look um, behind the camera and you're mm -hmm. going to see the colors and everything. Yeah. So you're going to be like, okay, that, that looks too much like the person's outfit yeah, that she's wearing. Yeah, or this person or... like, it, oh, that pattern makes the person look a little wider. Yeah. You have to just be really careful about what you pick. Mm -hmm. So it's all trial and, er er and error. You right. know what I mean? Like sometimes you win and sometimes you lose, right. you know? I always told my boss, I'm like, you know what? Like if we've ever had like a bad day, I'm like, you know what? Even Kobe misses. Okay. So don't <laughs> be so hard on yourself. You, you told your boss that? <laughs> she must love you. <laughs> she oh looked gosh. at me and she's That's like, awesome. oh my God. She started laughing, but it's true. It you, is true. You can't be so hard on yourself. But you you got all this wisdom, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I mean, don't get it. Yeah. Um, that, that is so true, though. And hey, we can always teach our our uh, superiors something once in a while. I'm yeah. sure she was like, just because she was she having a tough you. day. But I told her, I'm like, you know, like you can't be so hard on yourself. Like you got to pick yourself. But again, we're hard on ourselves because we're perfectionists. Yep. We want to make sure that the final product is so good, you know, and we want to make sure our talent's happy. So we always strive for the very best. Right. And that's why, you know, you tend to be. I'm very hard on myself, but you know, you learn throughout time that you can't mm -hmm. be so hard on yourself, you know, because everyone makes mistakes. Right. So. Except me. But. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ms. Perfect. No. <laughs> I, I, talk about mistakes, girl. I'm like, that's, when do I not make mistakes? I, I totally get it. And I, and I try to teach myself. I, do, I try to be like that, just thinking about, you know, what did you learn in that experience? Just making the best out of it. Right. Rather than just a really failed experience exactly. that you went through. Uh, what's going on now for, in terms of, of, of fashion for uh, summer? Like, well, what are you seeing as some trends that people should definitely have in their closet? Well, the 70s are back. Oh, perfect. Well, yes. Disco so, Inferno, girl. Yes, okay. a lot of, uh, it's the boho chic, I like to call it. Okay. It's like fringe, I like the flares. Believe it or not, bell bottoms are coming back. Okay. Yeah. Good, I never tossed mine. So that's perfect. <laughs> I'm like, I just gave I didn't mine grow away. Either, so I'm still five, too. Maybe I'll like uh, look yeah, those Yeah, so it's out. just like a lot of fringe, like the flower prints coming back. Oh, great, great. Yeah, like the olive tone is coming back I like know, the military I saw a ton of that. yes so it's all like those neutral basics are coming back but mostly like the 70s I see a lot of 70s really? in, yes for okay. spring and summer yeah that's so fun I, I actually I never shop and like I went shopping a couple weeks ago and I got some floral dresses and I was like yeah I hope this is in style I know it's here but is this something that oh girl I don't know like what's going on right now I don't really no you're you're good yeah, it's so. all like I know everyone going to Coachella is mm -hmm. so happy right now because they have so many options like totally. everywhere I'm like, everywhere I go, I'm like, okay, what What if I'm not going to Coachella? Like, what am I What am I going to wear? Am I supposed to wear, like, this floral dress just on the regular? Right. But I, it is in style. That's so. awesome. Yeah. And what about must-haves in terms of just regardless of the season? Um, for people that, you know, they, they don't have the best uh, bags, purses, because with purses especially, I feel like they really stand out. So if you can't afford, like, a really, really nice purse, what would you suggest? I would say go to Zara. Go to Forever 21. Mm H&M -hmm. has really good they bags. They still look Yeah, they apart. actually, I love H&M because they stepped up their game. Like, oh, really? The bags look really good. Like, fringe bags are so in right now. Oh, I love that. Yeah, those. like black, the gray, the camel color. Those are so good. And I mean, and you can use them all year long. Right. That's what's good about, like. Even if it's like a suede material? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because as long as you get a neutral color. Okay. Like, if it's like a nice camel color or like a black, you mm -hmm. can wear that all year long. Because I feel like those are timeless pieces. And blazers, too. They're yeah. always, right? Blazers, blazer. leather jackets, mm -hmm. boyfriend jeans. Yep. Uh, your white, gray, white shirts, because you can always add on like a statement necklace. Right. So I think those are the basics. At least that's what I like to have in my closet, mm -hmm. just because I can wear it in different ways. Right. You know? No, absolutely. So like if I'm ever having a day like, oh man, I don't know what to wear. I'm like, oh, I'll just throw on my boyfriend jeans, some that's heels. Perfect. Yeah. It's just like easy to go pieces, you know? Yes. Ripped jeans too. I yes. love ripped jeans. Yeah. Those are great. Mm -hmm. So in terms of, so obviously we, we uh, covered that Victoria Beckham is one of your style yeah. icons. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. In terms of more in the musical space, um, do you like the Miley Cyruses of the of the risk taking with the the nipple stickers and all that? Or are you more like the Lady Gaga? Like, what's your? Do you have any types of inspirations in that field? Because I know they all take a lot of fashion risks. Oh, they are. I feel like as an artist, you have to because you have to make some noise. Right. You have to catch the attention of the people, and that's how you make it into like these magazines, you know. So I, I bow down to them for taking those risks. Um, as far as my personal one that I would like, that I like, is Rihanna. Okay. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, she's great. She's edgy. Yep. And she doesn't care. And yep. I like that she takes so many risks. Like, right now, she's, like, trying to be a little bit more conservative. But um, I'm like, no, girl, go back to your edgy <laughs> side. I like you more when you were edgy. I like you more. I'm like, what is Leonardo great. DiCaprio doing to you? I know, right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's what happens, right? Yeah. Listen, I'm like, what happened to her? That's, hey, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. So I can, I'll be dressing like a boy if that's what he wants. If he wants to date me, whatever it is. Whatever it takes. So, I don't blame her. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she still looks good, but I liked her more when she was, like, taking okay. the risk. Yeah. Okay, cool. And what do you, so aside from E, if you even have time, are you working on anything else? I know you did something recently with Magic, the music. Oh, yeah, yeah. My uh, co-worker styles them. Okay. And I've, uh, I've helped her on a couple of things, and one of the most recent recent things we did with them was they had a shoot for their new song No Way No. Okay. And I got to assist on that shoot. It was fun. It was like my first video shoot ever. And you know, as a kid, you grow up watching these sh like videos on MTV, VH1. So to actually be on a set and see how everything works and what goes into making a video was amazing. So that was an awesome experience. And styling men versus women, how is that for you? You know what? Men are easy because it doesn't take that much to figure out what mm -hmm. works for them. Right. But sometimes they're like little kids, you know? Yep. You got to like calm them down, get them together. But I mean, I like both. I like both. I don't have a preference. So for men then, in terms of summer, what are we seeing for them? Um, I mean, because you mostly style right. girls, obviously. But yeah. just, just at personal opinion, I'm asking. Like, just what, like is it still the same thing? Still the same. No, well, I mean, some guys actually yeah. do wear florals. Right. So like the floor, floral button downs, like mm -hmm. the short sleeve, shorts, the rib jeans for men okay. are super, like the stone wash, like the lighter wash. Okay. Um, the Yeezys, of course. Okay. Kanye's Yeezys are like everywhere. And well, his you new can't Adidas, get those, right, anywhere? Not no more. Okay. They were only for like... They were only out for like a certain amount of time, okay. but I think he's like releasing a new, uh, like a new set soon. So. so when something like that that's so trendy, mm -hmm. um, do you suggest purchasing that if you like for anybody who is on a budget? Like, would you like those, like the Isabel Morant sneakers and stuff? Right. Those, do those get out of style or are those classic? Like, girl, even you can with buy these? the knockoffs for cheap. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can go to downtown <laughs> and buy the exactly. knockoffs. Like, this is why I brought you in. Yeah, real as they I'm come. just being real. No, I know. Of you, course, you know, of course. you know, like don't spend seven hundred dollars on it's shoes. It's crazy. They're are gonna go out of style. Like they I have gonna go out of style though, yeah. right? There's certain things that are yeah. they're gonna go out of style. Like invest your money in timeless pieces. Right. Like a good pair of pumps mm -hmm. or like a good leather jacket, you know, or like a good blazer. That's where your money should be going to. Don't spend your money on these expensive, trendy things. They're only going to be here for summer and then when summer's gone, you're like, what am I going to do with this? No, I, I totally Why is this agree. in my closet? Of course. Of and then course. you take it to Wasteland and they give you nothing. I you was going to say, you can't even sell it. So yeah, <laughs> they give you nothing. Like I had a pair of flares that I bought last year and I took them to Wasteland and they gave me $20. And is they that were, the best place to go? $200. That's crazy. Um, Wasteland, Crossroads, or Buffalo Exchange, but they all like... Or eBay. They Yeah, or eBay, but they give you nothing, like barely anything for what you bought I'm glad you told me for. that because I was actually planning, I have like a whole trunk full of clothes, but yeah. enough about me. No, don't go there because they won't give you your money's worth. They won't, okay, no. okay. Mm -mm. So what are your, what, where do you want to see yourself in? Like, let's say, let's say one year from now, what do you want to be doing? What is your um, absolute goal? In one year from now, I I just want to be more established as a stylist. Okay. I want to, so like, have... side of E as yeah. well, like, personal mm -hmm. styling. Yeah, like, personal styling. And, um, you know, as far like, hey, if e, there's more opportunity for me at E, that's welcome, too. Right. I just want to make, like, in a year, I want to be more established. That's awesome. Yeah, in all areas of my life. Yeah. And, J now, you were blogging before. Are you still blogging, fashion yes. blogging? Okay. Mm -hmm. so I have my own site. What is the site? Uh, JennyLoves.com. Okay, so what would people go on there for? For well, inspiration? Or? 
Yeah, I mean, okay. I have, um, I make like little grids of like just outfit ideas. Oh, nice. And it's like for your regular girl that's on a budget. Like I don't, you know, I don't spend crazy money when I shop. Right. I go to Zara, I go to H&M, Forever 21, you know, and it's just giving you ideas of stuff that you may already have in your closet, but you don't know how to style it. So you, I just have ideas there. Nice. And like it's trend, it's like, you know, stuff that you should be looking forward to like during summer, spring, winter, but it's just like affordable. So oh, you're not spending great. so much money. I call it uh, babe on a budget. Yeah. I love that. So yeah. it's, it's updated so that it's current. Yeah, it's Whatever current. you're putting up there, people can, it's mm-hmm. currently in the stores. And sometimes if I post a picture of whatever I'm wearing, I'll make like a little board too. I'm like, oh, you can get my outfit. Here, here's where I got it. That's you know, I'm, really, you can really click smart. And then you can buy it. If you liked my shoes or my jacket, whatever, you can buy it on my site. It'll take you directly to the site. That's where time consuming. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's, that's yeah. a big effort. That's awesome that you do that. Yeah, I mean, if you, you know, if you love doing it, it's true. Doesn't, like the time flies true. by. Of yeah. course, of course. Yeah. That is so fun. And so now you're. You said, so one year from now, you want to be more established, which obviously that's a given. We know that's going to happen. So let's say, I want to know five years from now, where are you going to be? Oh my gosh. Uh, that's a tough question. Uh, in five years, I w- definitely I want to have like... I want to like say that I styled like a celebrity. Mm-hmm. Like my dream ce- celebrity to style would be J Lo. Like I love her. I grew up on her. Right. J Lo or I mean Beyonce. But I mean, I mean, I know that sounds so crazy, but you never know. No, I'm putting no, it out not, in the universe. No, I, I, I honestly, I think that's that's definitely attainable. Yeah. Um. So in terms of designers, because you you seem to like glam. Just thinking about J Lo right. and Beyonce. Mm-hmm. So who are your favorite designers? Um. I definitely love Alexander Wang. Okay. I love Alexander. Center wing. Um, who else? I'm trying to think. That's like always my to go to. Is it really? Yes. I just love how like simple it is, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Helmet Lang too. Okay. You, so you do love simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love, you did mention that yeah, earlier. Yeah. I love simple pieces because, like I said, like I like to just throw on something and then just like very effortless. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't like to like complicate my look. I'm just like, right. oh, white tee, black jeans. Okay, good. And then I can have fun with my shoes or my right. jacket. Right. So definitely Helmet Lang and Alexander Wang. And for gla- and for gowns. Gowns? For evening gowns for, uh, for red carpets. Oh my God. Can we talk about, uh, what, oh my God, what's his, uh, I just went blank. Michael Costello. Yes. I actually, I, so I interviewed oh. um, Stephanie here uh, about a month ago. She's oh my God, I, so amazing. Yeah. But her clothes uh, she and Michael do it together. It's yes. MT Costello, mm-hmm. and then there's Michael mm-hmm. Costello. Yeah. So I, I was thinking of that when you were mentioning J Lo and everything, because I'm thinking, I mean, she started and she she's worked so hard, and now she's doing it. I mean, it yeah, just shows it's you. amazing. It's so amazing. And um, Beyonce wore him yep. to the I, know, I think the I VMAs. Yeah. No, yeah, it was the VMAs. She looked amazing. amazing. Like he just knows a woman's body. Yep. They he both knows do. what looks so good. It's so true. Yeah. And I love how like. Like, the dresses are not that crazy, but they, like, accentuate every part of the body, and right. it just looks amazing. Yeah. Yep. That's, so a, that's definitely them. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And what was your favorite look from the Oscars? Do you have one? Uh, from the Oscars? Uh, and obviously, we J-Lo. Know. Yeah. Oh, my God. She looks so She's beautiful. Stunning. She looks so, like, classic Hollywood glam. That's what I loved about so her true. look. Yeah, that would definitely had to be my favorite. And you did the post show, you said? Yes. For the Oscars. So mm-hmm. you worked with Maria on the I post did show. work with Maria Menounos. And she that wore this amazing, like, red the gown. Red. Yes. Okay, I thought so. That's when they were all sitting down. Right? Yes. Oh, oh my, but anything gray, that Maria wears I know, looks amazing. She's like, not, you she's can give normal. her a freaking <laughs> potato bag and some heels, and she looks so good. <laughs> It's so annoying. She's yeah. perfect. She's perfect. And yeah. Other than that, other than the aliens of the world, the people that are perfect, I mean, there's like, <laughs> it literally, you put her in anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, even J Lo, I mean, perfect again. Like you're, it's, yeah. it's so e- It's not even a difficult task to dress them. They're gonna right. look good no matter what. Right. Um, but everybody, I thought looked great this year at the Oscars. I yeah, really, I loved all. There the was looks. a lot of like amazing looks, but t- to me, J Lo stood out the most. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just because I love her. Yeah, she's so perfect. Much. Yeah, she's perfect. Doesn't age. Yeah. Another one doesn't age. Right. They all don't age. Maria and her her and crazy. Pharrell, Pharrell too. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what are you doing? I don't understand. He's like, oh, I washed my face with cold water. I'm like, um, I've tried that. It yeah, doesn't okay. work. Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's called jeans. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Born with them or you're not. <laughs> so we are can and is there anything else that you wanted to share with what you're working on currently or what you are going to be working on or just anything? 
anything else that you, what's your last words, girl? Um, Give us your last well, words. Well, no. <laughs> I'm like, the pressure. I'm feeling, oh my God. No, I mean, you I'm can come just, back anytime and update us, oh, obviously. Oh, thank but, you so much. No, I'm just, you know, right now I'm just working, working on my brand, working on, you know, getting my site more updated, mm-hmm. you know, just thinking of different things to do, um, you know, just Right now, it's everything's like at a standstill, but I feel like something big is coming. I just don't know what it is. I feel it too. Yeah. I do too. Yeah. What advice do you have for anybody that wants to do styling? Um, just work hard. Stay in cons- the beginning stages, yeah. for instance. Well, just work hard. You know, stay consistent. Don't get discouraged because we're in LA. You know, so there's a lot of people trying to do the same thing. But again, what's going to set you apart is how passionate you are. And when you, you know, you fall, you got to stand right back up and you got to keep, you know, pushing forward and eventually you'll get there. You know, you just got to be patient. That's the, that's the key. Be patient. Cause there was a time where I was just like, when is it going to be my turn? Like, when is it, when, when am I going to get the chance? You know, but when it comes, you're like, okay, everything is like coming for full circle, you know? So you just. You have to be patient and like work hard every day. You know, you have to like live, like breathe it, you know, and you'll get there. That's like my advice. You have so much wisdom. Oh, thank you. you. So, I, just, I think you are just going to blow up any second. The second I met you, I knew that. You're just you're very special. And thank I just, you so I much. I love getting a chance to meet you and to learn more about you today. It's been awesome. Thank and you're you welcome so here any single time you want to come Aww, back. Oh, you're so, so sweet. Thank please. you for having me. I thank had you fun. so much. And where can people <laughs> find you on Twitter and Instagram? Well, my Twitter is Jenny Loves. It's uh, J E N N Y L U V V S. Oh, my God. I forgot my, <laughs> I forgot my Twitter. Like this loves, is bad. Like the Denver Yeah. Loves, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a, that, I there that. you go. I love those there you go. And then my Instagram is uh, J E N N Y L U V S. And then my website is Jenny Loves with one B. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. And you can find me everywhere um, at Ashley Daniels on Twitter and Miss Ashley Daniels on Instagram. So you can't find me everywhere <laughs> at Ashley Daniels um, until the other Ashley Daniels gives me that name. Um, so until then, we'll see you for another Spotlight on. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only. Do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.